Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Our B team is still on their way down to the Bionic Fortress. They'll probably head across to that uh, in just a moment. Our A team is over the other side uh, of the world uh, on their way down towards uh, Antarctica. And yeah, New Jericho have successfully uh, saved uh, saved their friend. Uh, right, we wanted to explore this. In the meantime, this place is death. Exploration site. Our operatives have located an abandoned camp previously used by a local paramilitary organization. During the waning days of World War III, dozens of socially undesirable people were executed here. It appears to have briefly been used as a shelter, but the doors to the main building have been ripped off the hinges and skeletons litter the corridors. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a search. All available resources have been recovered. The place deserves no further attention. Hmm, materials, tech, and food. That's uh, given us some fresh stocks. Always welcome. All right, let's send the B team into the Bionic Fortress, and uh, we'll see how they do. Maps of the Earth, Marad. The agnost Caesar Marad, formerly a professor of geography at major university of the old world, is highly interested in the Phoenix project and proposes an information exchange. Uh, yeah, we can exchange some information. The world is changing rapidly, the Agnostici says, and understanding the new shape it's taking will be essential to the survival and evolution of humanity. So we've got three new scavenging sites and three disciples of Anu Havens that have been added onto the map. Uh, those aren't going to help us get down to Antarctica, which is a bit of a shame, but there's plenty of things for us to explore on the way down there. Let's grab this unexplored site and then we'll, uh, we'll think about doing one of the other things nearby. In the meantime, I might stop in and get some tech, actually. Ooh, okay. Might stop in and get some tech and they want some tech. <laughs> Our team has landed at a place called Fort Shangzhang. The people here are sick. Our operatives believe that the locals have contracted a new strain of influenza, but panic is brewing as rumours about Pandora virus infections are spreading. We've made contact with Commander Curious, who runs this haven on behalf of New Jericho. She's asking for our assistance in the form of medical supplies and expertise. Yeah, we can do that. So they like us a lot more. Louis Carice is extremely grateful for the medical assistance that operatives have provided. Our team believes that in a week or two the population will recover from the outbreak and everything will be back to normal. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I want to very much get that tech back. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're, we'll just carry on down to here. All right. Fingers crossed we don't have a problem with OBS this time. The location of the transmission appears to be the Pure's central base. Intelligence analysts suggest the presence of multiple fully bionic soldiers, as well as Subject 24 himself. Should we succeed in killing him, there's a high likelihood the rest of the Pure will fall in disarray. So the team is pretty much fully healed, don't need to worry about that. Uh, we've already gone through and done what training they can get uh, that we want to assign. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what this bionic fortress is all about. Okay, unsurprisingly, looks to be a pretty secure New Jericho fortress. Uh, we do have people with stealth, so let's let's start by having a look see forwards. See if there's anything that we need to be concerned about. Moving now. Heading out. Okay, generally not looking 
terrible so far. Uh, let's... Let's rocket leap you up. Wonder if there's uh, someone over that side. We'll get your sniper rifle out. Uh, not that you're going to use it this turn, but ah, oh, shame you can't quite leap over to there. What's our plan? All right. Well, if this is if this is all relatively secure, let's move everyone else forwards. There's a lot of verticality, but hopefully we won't need to deal with anything in here. Repositioning. Prioritizing speed. And the pure soldiers cost a lot, so I wouldn't expect to see m many of them. Oh dear. We're going to be quite, quite badly exposed here, aren't we? Get into cover. Get into cover a bit better. You might end up taking a shot. Ready for action. I don't think there's going to be anything I can do to stop that. Sprinting. All set. Yeah, let's get you down into cover over there. Hostile spot. Oh dear. So we've also got guys at the back. Comes online. They've probably not seen us yet, but if they come out there, we'll be five, five, in a five. little bit of trouble. Advancing. Get into here for now. We might need you to just move in super close. Okay, he's moving and now he's seen us, so their perception is not brilliant. <laughs> there was one right at the back with a flamethrower. And lots up on top. Okay, I think we'll be doing some uh, some exploding around here. Definitely didn't expect them all to be behind us. Right. Ready for action. So you're neurally disrupted, so there's no way you can use your abilities, but we can we can still still explode out the ceiling. Target. And as well as exploding out the ceiling. I don't want to take out the shield. I would love to take out his arm, but I don't think we've got an angle on it. Yeah, that arm is completely behind the shield. Well, we can we can look at the infiltrator behind. Oh, he's got a fury, has he? Okay, let's yeah, let's take out his torso. Up here, we can get in and kill this guy, or we can try. In fact, can we can we leap up there? Not quite. That's a shame. Yeah, let's let's get in and kill this guy.
Acquiring target. 225 damage isn't quite enough to take him out from you. Is there anyone that can take him out in one go? That's a no, but you could shoot him and then shoot him again. What's our plan? You're neurally disrupted. Let's try this. So I'm thinking we do more explosives inside. Please don't shoot our own people. Best camera angle ever. So he's lost one arm. That assault is not doing too well. Can we Taking also get a grenade in there? It's not really looking... Maybe, yeah, if we go for, like, the back wall. Okay, that's that's making me feel a lot happier. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to get both sides eliminated and secure. So obviously the Iconoclast is not going to work there. But we could sort the Iconoclast out going this direction. Or dash in and smack. Ah, oh, he had a neural sniper rifle. I wanted that neural sniper rifle. That would have been amazing. Okay. So that, our problems are gradually, gradually getting thinned out. Moving now. Step in, see what your general chance to hit is. On the assault, it's more than enough. Apparently, it's not more than enough. Heading out. So that right royally sucks. Okay. We could do a quick aim and then get a decoy out as well. Aiming. So we'll get a decoy right in the front. And then step into cover. If we dash twice, we can get here. And then we could take a shot on this guy. Or if we dash once, we can get to here and possibly shoot his arm and then move away. Acquiring target. Or shoot his head. That works. Was that it? So which of those was the big boss? I can't believe they were all behind us to the left. Except one. That poor sniper isolated by himself. The fact that they clustered together really, really helped us. If they'd managed to get that Fury missile launcher off, that would have been nasty. Triumph of the Flesh. That sounds like an Anu thing. Subject 24 is no more. What remained of the Pures of Stronghold has been completely destroyed and its technology stripped. Our team has managed to retrieve a large amount of archived drives containing terabytes of data. Unfortunately, the advanced encryption proved impossible to crack. 
what secret Subject 24 had is taking them to the grave with him. We can only rest knowing that the threat of the pure is no more. Now, visually, that cutscene was really, really cool. If there'd been some kind of like proper fortress, much like the um, Pandoran's citadels, with a throne room, and that's where you end up fighting, I think that would have been a really cool ending. This, it just felt like uh, a Haven defense mission. Still, we have at least eliminated one threat. I'm sure we'll still see the pure pop up now and then. Um, but obviously they are not going to be high on our radar for a while. Uh, right, you guys kind of need to rest up. So let's send you back to Phoenix Forward Command. Okay, we've got some new Pandorans. We've got the Arthur and Myrmidon Prime, the Arthur and Bane Prime, Kyron Perseus and Kyron Basilisk. Yeah, you look pretty normal. What's that gun? That's a viral machine gun. Alright, you're... You're looking quite dangerous with your explosive bomb abdomen. Let's hope we never, ever see you out in the field. And you've got an acid abdomen, of course. Because that's going to be so nice for us. Yeah. Uh, we do have... Not great to do, so let's go in for training. You're going to get Onslaught. Stepping closer to that rapid clearance every time. Uh, and we'll also give you Inspire. The Rite of the Black Star. Today the people of Zabala are performing the Rite of the Black Star, one of the darker, more unsettling rituals to the Disciples of Anu. Its purpose is to remind the faithful of the greed that once ruled the world. Perverting all of humankind's efforts, and how nothing can break the grip of that greed, not politics, not technology, not even religion, only the Great Flood. The apocalypse brought on by the Pandora virus gave our species a second chance. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to condemn this. Assuming that only a catastrophe could allow humanity to change course is a deeply misanthropic belief that rejects not only human ingenuity, but all human agency. Such a belief is contradicted by the entirety of human history, in which human beings frequently overthrew old systems because they believed in something better, and the world did gradually improve. So yeah, they, they don't like us, but New Jericho do. And we're all about New Jericho. Remains, an exploration site. Our operatives have located an abandoned military outpost. It's unclear which nation's military it belonged to since this region's government fractured heavily during World War III. That's a very, very clever way of um, not caring where in the world the Haven ended up. Well, the ex exploration site, not Haven. Oh, lots of materials, a bit of tech and some food. Always good to stock up. Just a reminder, if we do get low on food, we can always harvest some of the Pandorans. What are we researching at the moment? The Pandoran Citadel, yeah. Uh, you guys are resting up, that's good. You can carry on with that. All right, we've got another haven down here that hasn't quite given us enough to be able to make it across this uh, this little gap, but uh, soon. Activating Phoenix Aeronautics would allow us to build a satellite uplink there, but it's going to be infested. No hostile forces being detected, but there's probably some resources we can find here. It's an abandoned military base. Yay, lots of tech. That's, uh, that's pretty damn handy. Now, we could go on for the Crystal Crossbow and finish out finding 
Yeah, cool. Area scans will now detect Pandoran colonies. Um, and carry on looking for antediluvian sites. In fact, active Pandoran structures one. Ooh. Because it's within range. Well. I guess you guys are going to have to go and clear that out. That's very awesome. Let's start sending you over there. In the meantime, you can start exploring. The Pandoran Lair has been discovered. I think that is the one that it was uh, it was mentioning. It just took a while for the notification to crop up. That's going to be really handy, especially with our improved scanner range. Uh, do we have time for... I suppose, yeah, we've, we've almost certainly got time. So the objective is just to destroy this and then get out. We know that the team is pretty good at destroying these after the last time when everyone just hammered into the side of it. Uh, so let's send them in. I just want to make sure that we're not carrying any excess... Excess tools. Uh, you probably don't need that many spider drones. You're good. You're good as well. You don't need extra. I wonder if I want to change over your assault rifle for something a bit better. Maybe, but not today. Let's at least start with it in in your main inventory. Okay, that'll that'll do. Let's send him in. Now, if we're lucky, it will be about as small as the last one, and we'll spot the uh, the hatchery straight away. Okay, it is about the same size. Well, the fog of war does like go off into the distance. I think that's actually out of out of bounds for the map, so. Potentially around there. Potentially over there. But most probably in like that that bit. So let's uh let's see who we can move in who's got a good perception. I really wish we could uh Perfect. This is how we can actually find out the stats. Perception 35. Section 26, Section 35, Section 35, Section 55, Section 30, right. So Isla, you are definitely our forward scout. Okay, seeing guys down here, but no indication of the actual spawner yet. It's over here. There we go. We now know. Ready. There's quite a few visual obstructions between here and there. What's our plan? 
given we've got to extract everyone as well, we're going to have to try and do this efficiently. Let's do this. Okay, let's move you forwards a little bit. And then with jet jump, we can put you up on top. You can see more from up there, which is not too much of a worry. We're really going to have to pack in with everyone. Let's, uh, let's check the range of this. Nowhere near enough at the moment. We're definitely going to have to get closer. Way. Come to here for now. You are unfortunately on foot. Enemy contact. How the hell did you see it, but no one else did? It matters not. Receiving loud and clear. Neither of you appear to have. All right. Yeah. Neither of you appear to have visibility plan. directly. So we'll need to figure something out about that. Repositioning. Prioritizing speed. We can check it out next turn anyway. Yeah, because of those those visual obstructions. From here, they'll be able to see up on top. And there. And there. So quite a few choices actually. Making haste. Now obviously we don't want to get shot. Oh, we can get out the other side. Ah, oh, that's an interesting idea. If sticking around at the back doesn't look practical. I'm sorry you guys, but I'm just going to have to do some kind of explosives on you. Receiving loud and clear. I mean, you're, you're in range before we even do Boom Blast. Which means anyone can do it. Right, let's, let's see what your actual angle of, of hitting is. Okay, you've actually got a really good shot over there. So we'll let someone who's got a Gatling gun into your position. Heading out. I'll move you down to here for now. Zooming in. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty solid shot that. Uh, we can also do an armor break in addition to the mark for death, which will help reduce its its armor. So I think we'll we'll start off. With that, uh, I'm going to also do a quick, no, a quick aim will mean we can't do Boom Blast. Taking action. Let's do this. 
Because we know who the threats are. And getting them uh, in a position where they're not threatening, such as the launcher arms being gone, is, yeah, it's going to make me feel a lot better. Okay, armor break. Yeah. Confirming target. Wow, that really did not have the impact I was hoping for. All set. Let's see what you can do with this Triton. Disabled his arm and his torso. That's pretty damn good, actually. Uh, I am worried about you getting shot in retaliation, so let's bring you back over here. Aiming. Now we're going to have to go a little bit further forwards and then uh, do a quick aim if we want to get him, or maybe shoot him with a crossbow. He should bleed out. Yes, he's going to bleed out. Lovely. Uh, these guys are not a threat yet, so we can carry on moving in. Sprinting to position. <laughs> Who can you see? You can see that chap. You're not going to be able to get quite close enough to hit him and kill him, so let's let's let him come towards us for a turn. But we can still move a little bit closer, maybe take a shot. Yeah, get into cover there and do some plinking at him. Disruption will also take three willpower. Ah, this this sucks so much. Let's jet jump you up. Taking action. What's our plan? I think actually what I'll do kind of need you to stay there actually moving now In fact, we can do it like this there we go I'll I'm happy enough with that the three the three big hitters are up where they need to be So he's probably going to bleed out next turn. If not, we'll make sure that he's dead. He's got big chunky armor, but he's not a threat. He's got a bit of a purple glow. I bet he's one of those uh, Umbras. Tar Shadow, yeah. Releases a corrupted protein mutane shade on death. So definitely want to be careful with that. Okay, let's 
boom blast at the front. And we'll get this right in there. Gotcha. Clearing out the obstacles. And clearing out the armor is out of range for, for that, so this is going to be focused on the closer guys, I guess. Uh, how much health have you got? You've got 10 health, so we're not going to shoot you. Instead, we will look at the other guys. Three hundred and forty hit points. Okay, I think we dash in, we kill this guy. He's got no weapons left, so he's not a threat. <laughs> we know that this chap is dangerous so we could war cry what I'd like to do is like to hit him twice and then get away from him yeah come over this way no one's in range for war cry Let's have a look in here, if nothing else. It gives us a bit of extra... A bit of extra willpower. Okay. Up on the top team. Acquiring What's the armor looking like on the shell? That is quite a bit reduced. So, quick aim. Also, the angle of attack is much better. And hopefully this is this is where things will get a bit easier for our team. All I need is a clear shot. That's a clear enough shot. It's not a brilliant shot, but let's try and explode this guy's legs. Plan obviously didn't work. Channel open. I'm loath to move much further in. Moving to position. Mostly because of the danger. Uh, let's overwatch. Got this covered. With you. We'll overwatch with you. And at the back over here. Now you've got a sniper rifle, so you might be able to get a shot. No, can't get a shot over there. It's just not going to have the angle. Well, we can, we can bring you up. You'll be in a better position for doing something up here. Worst Overwatch. That's all right. Okay. 
we can step him, we can smack him, and then we can get away. Which is what I would want in that situation. Ah. Ah, thank you. I do appreciate having um, mobility options. So yeah, he's got that tar shadow on the way. And then uh, we're just going to dash actually away from everything. Shoot him in the leg and arm. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna move you up a little bit, and we'll put you on Overwatch like that. Holding position. Five by five. Up here, I think we'll also have you on Overwatch. And then we're back to doing what we can against this thing. Let's mark it for death. goes the shell. Receiving loud and clear. Over here we can only do one quick aim which is a shame. Uh, so it's ready to fire. Not worth it. Instead we'll just keep putting bullets in and maybe someone can uh, standing by. Can onslaught to help out. I don't think so actually. I think everyone else is is already pretty tired. Armor break isn't going to help, so. Confirming target. Yeah, go for the one that's actually going to hit effectively. Attack successful. And after that, you still got a rocket if we need it. There's the Umbra. Nice attempt, guys. Out of all the things that could have happened, that's probably the best. Those umbras are not nice. Okay, finish it off. Receiving loud and clear. And we'll try and just get as much damage on this thing as we can now. Targeting. What's our plan? Targeting. Gotcha. Couple of turns like this, and we should should be good. Yeah, that's really not not a great angle, but I think we have to keep trying. All set. Can I actually hop you across? You might be able to get an angle from here. Yeah. We can make that work. If we can make that work, I might be able to make other other angles up top work as well. Yeah, like that. What's our plan? Okay, the rest of you guys, I think we're going to move back towards Repositioning. Prioritizing the extract. Speed. Yeah. 
Now they will start getting reinforcements, so we want to do this as quickly as we feasibly can. Actually, can anyone down here do onslaught? Yes, you can. Right, let's rocket leap you up. Because that'll help with some of the bigger ones. Enemy hit. Let's get you onslaughted. Out of ammo. Damn it. And no ammo with us. All right, well, I guess we're resorting to the Ready other to gun. Fire. That was a mistake. Gotcha. It's nearly dead, though, so it's all going to be fine. On it. Oh, no, it's supposed to be... Th ah, right, there it is. Enemy engaged. Just the tiniest little glimpse. I probably should have done the other shot. That's fine. We've got other people that can shoot. Hostile wounded. Comes online. Very nearly there. One more turn should do it. Let's uh, carry you on to the exit. Making haste. There we go. Something for our intrepid assault to take care of. Is it worth dashing or we just shoot from here? Just shoot from here, actually. He's got regeneration, he doesn't have a chameleon. Gotcha. So he's gone. Channel open. Acquiring target. Spawnery's gone. And we can start getting everyone out. Right, so we cover. Uh, you're not going to recover. You're just going to start moving. You can jet jump. a little bit. You can rocket leap down and then charge. Moving to position. As you're going to come across it a little bit. Okay, first extract. Second extract. Third extract. Fourth, just extract. Look at that. You're not quite going to make it, but that's okay. Actually, before you get out. I will do that so that I heal you up next turn. We recovered so we could jet jump. Let's jet jump. And you've got enough to jet jump as well. Here goes. 
So this is working out all right. Everyone should get out next turn. Barring any major problems. Okay, healing. And then extracting. You're just running in and extracting. And much the same over here. Awesome. Well, that's gone exceptionally well. Unfortunately, I'm definitely out of time for today, uh, so we are going to have to call it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon. Yeah.